What's your uh, assessment of that? And you're obviously pleased with the victory. But, uh, sort of a, a resilience showing through, through again? No, I, I, there was certainly a resilience, but I thought we played some good rugby as well. We came with uh, an intent to play rugby. Uh, we were just very loose in the first half. We couldn't get past three phases because of uh, inaccuracies. And we spoke about the fact that uh, you know, actually wanting to play more rugby with more width actually pressurises you more to be more accurate um, and to be better in the contact area. And we, we weren't that, any of that in the first half. So we were really disappointed at half-time, um, although you know, we'd stayed within touching distance. Um, but then uh, we showed our metal in the second half, you know, and um, uh, we weren't phased by the fact that they scored a couple of good tries themselves early on. And that's important, you know, to, to, to ride those knocks and come back strongly. And we did, and, uh, and we played some good stuff, I thought, to, to be able to bring ourselves back into the game. You talked obviously about trying to expand the game and things like that. How do you think that? Uh, we struggled in the first half only because we couldn't hold on to the ball, you know, but we created half chances. I thought in the second half we did that very well, and um, you know we attacked from deep, which is one of the best areas to attack from if uh, if you've got the courage to do it uh, and the accuracy to do it. Uh, and we did that in the second half. Mm. And obviously, Freddie is a pretty massive contribution there. Almost all the points. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, you know, another fantastic performance by him, but. But the whole team really, I, I just felt we were a bit flat in that first half and um, you know, we spoke about that at half-time. Um, but in fairness to, uh, to, to, to Lynn Irish, you know, they, um, they played it better than us in, in that first half and in the first period of the second half, played some good stuff themselves to get those two tries. Um, but this, this Gloucester side shows a lot of resilience and grit and uh, it showed it once again, but not, not, not really through... Um, or not always just through uh, our ability to stay in games, our ability to score points uh, this time. So I was really pleased with that. Um, classic game of two halves, I suppose. How do you think he went at 12? He went all right. You know, he went okay. It's not. Uh, we, if you'd have watched the game, we we did actually mix them around a little bit, depending on which side of the field we were. Um, you know, he certainly gave us width. Um, uh, it's something I've done before with Priestland and Steve Jones when I was at the Scarlets, and uh, when you get two first receivers on the field, you know, the, for whatever reason, you tend to get more width in your game, and we, we did that in the first half. Do you see this as a very crucial win here today? I mean, it gives you the ascendancy against them next Saturday when they come down to Europe, it, it, Europe and the league, and everything. it's all going rather well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, this game in terms of uh, Europe gives us control of the pool, I, I suppose. Um, I still believe we've probably got to go and win all our games, all our remaining games. Um, but there's two home games and one away game, so you know, we should be fairly um, confident uh, of, of progressing now. But you know, I'm sure Irish will come and, and they can still get back into the game as well. So you know, next week will be equally important game.